Dramatic scenes unfolding at the famous historic Chidambaram Nataraja Temple in Tamil Nadu. A face-off over the entry curb soon escalated into a state versus temple fight. But was this required? There is, a, is there an attempt being made by the state to take over the temple rights and are the temple authorities unable to handle their affairs? We debate that, but before that, let's tell you what transpired there. Devotees were stopped from entering the Chidambaram temple. Priests who governed the Tillai Nataraja temple had banned devotees from climbing atop the golden platform between the 24th and 27th of June. Only for this period, during the Adi Tirumanjalam, a four-day auspicious program when special pujas are conducted, citing security concerns. The Hindu Religious and Charitable Endowments Department visited the temple, removed the board installed by the priests. Soon, Dikshita staged a protest and the curb was imposed as they couldn't handle the crowd. And uh, there were jewels and there was a security issue. The situation further escalated as the HRNC officials and cops forced their way into the mandapam, entered there and came back. Eleven priests have now been booked for allegedly obstructing government officials. All these controversies took place post the Supreme Court order in Jan 2014. But what did the Apex Court judgment say? Temple to be managed by priests, not by the TN government. Priests constitute a religious denomination and their rights are to be preserved and protected by any invasion by the state. Government can take over temple management control to remove any maladministration if proven in front of the Supreme Court. But such an arrangement cannot be for an indefinite period. Continuation thereafter would tantamount to usurpation of their proprietary rights and violation of the fundamental rights guaranteed by the constitution in favour of the persons deprived. Power to regulate does not mean power to supersede. Now the big question is if Chidambaram temple is not under HRNC department, why is the state interfering? Time and again. If there's proof of financial mismanagement, why not approach the courts and prove it in the court of law? They can do it directly in the Supreme Court. By interfering with temple affairs, isn't HRNC department violating Article 29? Deity has a living right as per the constitution. Has that not been violated by the HRNC department? With reports of funds management, mismanagement, should the board actually resist scrutiny? Is everything above board with the Dikshitars? Question. Modern controversies. Is temple administration unable to handle the affairs? As Guru Murthy ji, editor Tughlaq is with us. Namaste and Jayan sir. Thank you for your time. Namaskar. Namaskaram. How would you see the Siddhambaram temple issue? Your point of view, sir? I think the government is uh, either foolish or illiterate or it is actually autocratic because this is the only temple which has been kept out of the reach of the HRNC department by the Supreme Court. Actually, it is a war against the Supreme Court. I don't know who advises the government. Obviously, the government has uh, committed a huge, uh, uh, what I can say, not only fault, I think they have taken the Hindu uh, bhaktas for granted. You see, there is nothing like the devotees demanding anything. The devotees will always like to see the Lord. But there is some discipline of the whole samskaras of the temple. That during a particular period, you don't allow people to come into a, a podium. It's a small podium. It's not a large podium. Hundreds of people can't stand there. Stand there. Only some 20-30 people can stand. And it is only those who are actually performing the rituals who can be there. And uh, thousands and thousands of uh, devotees come there. All of them would like to climb. Obviously, they will be told in this period you can't climb. In other period, they will be allowed in queue or something. This is the normal thing. This has been going on for generations. It is not a rule which was framed day before yesterday. But to make this as some kind of violation of the rights of the devotees to, to seek to invade the temple and HRNC department has no locus in the temple appointing an executive officer and giving the executive officer police powers and in police she goes and climbs and sits there I think it is atrocious hmm. I mean it is only because it is not only Hindu who are weak in Tamil Nadu. If it were any other community, they would not have attempted this. If it is any other caste also, they would not have attempted this. This is a Brahmin caste. They will not protest. They will not throw stones. In the process, you also subjected them to the cruelty of uh, levying charge against them for uh, 
for child marriage hmm. and subjecting those girls to two finger tests yes. which was uh, obnoxious and uh, that was uh, a subject of official communication by the governor but this is all not taken notice of and these are all supposed to be uh, governments which are running on some high principles of democracy freedom and dravidian model i think what but, is happening but their is point of view professor gurumurthy is sir gurumurthy sir their point of view you've said that it is deliberately targeting the dikshitars because they are brahmins and they are a small community but their point of view is that there are complaints from the bhaktas people have complaints so hr and ca has come there there has been an instance of okay, child marriage so they are being investigated and time and again hr and ca says complaints. financial is mismanagement is happening then let us assume there are complaints i go because i am a law abiding person but is the police to investigate the complaints in this matter or should they constitute an independent person to go into the complaint can the police enter the temple first to support an executive officer it is not your first attempt you have been targeting this temple from the day the supreme court said you can't touch the temple so you can never never do justice to this temple and i think it is for the supreme court actually it is an affront to the supreme court it is for the supreme court to take care obviously the supreme court has its own hands full and uh, it cannot do justice within a few days but they can do damage to the temple uh, discipline uh, to the decorum of the uh, religious ceremonies and they can bring the whole temple into disrepute and terrorize the dikshitars who are a law abiding people but I what is what the recourse is in tamil nadu is obnoxious in in 2014 in 2014 the matter was fought over a period of time now who will represent the the, the dikshitars cause they are at a loss can the supreme okay, court take uh, somoto uh, cognizance uh, or will somebody have to knock the doors of the court and apprise them of what's happening i don't i don't think the supreme court will take somoto cognizance of course the supreme court has done it in other cases but i don't think in this case they will be able to do it obviously someone will have to move the supreme court i think the tamil nadu government is actually waging a war against the supreme court what is the counter to this are you willing to help uh, the dikshitars are you willing to help other, them uh, is it it is nothing it is only an ego battle how can a temple be beyond my control and that to such a great temple the natrajas statue is there in certain experiment yes. as a, a, a symbol of a scientific advancement it's it it's, it says that he symbolizes the movement of the waves you know such a great deity which is housed there and worshiped by people from all over the world it is being brought to such a, a disrepute it, it it is unbecoming of a government of any kind i don't expect even a a uh, mogal government would have done what the, the dmk government is doing at least they will have some shame that they are doing this to the hindus but these people can do anything against the hindus because they also say they are hindu is it, is this against specifically against hindus or is it big against the dikshitars who are brahmins it is, it is, professor it is the hindu tradition hindu values and it is administered by brahmins this temple is administered they are not only brahmins they are a very small section of the brahmins so what is the they way are forward not part of even the larger brahmin community <clears throat> what is the way forward because it if is there only, is no uproar among no the hindu community they have to seek seek recourse only under law but there is no other way otherwise they are not the people who will go to the streets but but professor gurumurthy temples are the only ones that come under state control as religious institutions Hindus are majority no, population in this country. No, temples do not come under the government. The temples are supposed to be uh, managed well, and the responsibility is of the government to ensure. But they cannot control or take over the temple. They have done it repeatedly. For there are temples which are for thirty years, forty years, fifty years only under the uh, political system. Whereas it should be only an intervention. so it has no big up they have established a government department for this not to supervise but to manage to own to control the entire hrnc department is against the scheme of the constitution 
but how do you dismantle this because this is not unique only to tamil nadu it is a pan india yeah. issue no in all over india it is there but there is a system even in a communist state like kerala there is a system of governance in andhra there is a system of governance there there is participation of the people because the dmk movement you know they said the sriranganathanayum pillai nadarajaniyum veerangi veithu thagartum naal ennalo when when will we mortar bomb and blast these two temples had been the slogan of the uh, dravidian ideology so all other states have a certain control regulation of the temple but nobody said these the dt should be blasted your intention is that but professor gurumurthy the situation right now is that these dikshitars believe that the control is slipping the hrnc department tomorrow can take control unless there is urgent representation or intervention by the top court is actually whatever you may say the government has the police power hmm the government can do anything but whether the government is doing the right thing or not again you have to go only to the court but are you willing to help this team professor gurumurthy is there a, is there somebody obviously, who can take up their cause obviously no of course all of us are uh, in stress for time but uh, this is a matter in which i can't disown my responsibility is there is there a larger need to reconsider what is happening across the country and uh, in terms of this entire aspect of freeing hindu temples and would you also blame the hindu community itself who have not taken the onus of taking resting back the control from states is he actually the hindus were cheated by believing that post independent government was their government hmm so the government and temple had always coexisted in this country all the maharajas and so they believed this government will be like this they never thought this government will turn against the temples against hindus against hinduism against hindu rituals again okay, hindu sampradayas they never they were cheated in fact two top leaders in the country in their last years i don't want to mention their names we were cheated into believing that this government will safeguard the hindus because that is the only unorganized religion only unorganized people only unorganized uh, uh, worshipers uh, model hmm. is a completely free religion we were cheated into believing that this government will do that but the government had actually turned against they are very top people who occupied highest positions in this country i don't want to mention their names and shame them professor gurumurthy thank you for your time you've been very candid let us hope that uh, this voice is taken note of and uh, they have the ability to take seek legal recourse and also move for an urgent hearing in the top court because the top court is the one that is supposed to be monitoring the management yeah. and 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 how things are being conducted at the I agree. that is the only way thank you sir thank you very very much